Now, if you're not familiar with MTV Cribs, basically it was a show on MTV where they took a camera crew to famous musicians' houses, went around the house, and they were like, hey, look at how rich I am. I used to not be so rich. Before when I wasn't rich, I didn't have this house. I didn't have these cars. But now that I'm a big rich boy, look at my house. Look at all my cars. Isn't this great how much of a rock star I am? The one that sticks in my mind the most is the Missy Elliott one for some reason, but I'm not gonna go down the Missy Elliott one right now. Today, I gotta talk about Travis Barker because he is enemy number one on this channel. He is responsible for all the cringe on the internet. You see something on the internet that you don't like, it's Travis Barker's fault, okay? He has his fingers in that some way, somehow, some shape or form. Him and his junior necklaces and his skull tattoo have his fingerprints all over the cringiest stuff on the internet. I don't know how he does it, he's still doing it. And back there in the day, he was even a cringe boy. I'm not exactly sure what year this was. Either way, this would have been right around the time that I thought Travis Barker was a cool guy, okay? Out there playing with the transplants, out there playing with Blink-182, being a big rich drummer boy, and I was a poor drummer boy back then. But let's just see what this is all about. The video is entitled, I'm into Cadillacs, Travis Barker's home and car collection. MTV Cribs! This is gonna be some serious action. Now, if you haven't started kicking back right now, now is the chance to start kicking back because this is gonna be some cringe stuff behavior. All right, Travis Barker, show me your crib. What do you got in your house? And before we do, this is gonna be reaction video style, so there will be starting, stopping, pausing, moving, and going all over the place. And also, if you have a problem with the autofocus in this video and how it kind of like juts all over the place, um, I don't care about that. Okay, let's go. I'm Travis from Blink-182, and this is my crib. Welcome, I'll begin with my fish. <laughs> okay, well, he was even so awkward back then and hasn't really gained much camera charisma in like the 20 plus years since this Cribs. If you want to see how awkward this guy still is, I have another house tour of his that you can check out on this channel. I'll leave a link somewhere. If I somehow forget, just go up to the search bar and type Dan Frampton, Travis Barker, house tour. It'll pop up. Just to hang out. I like how in his newer one, he's like, this is where my family hangs out all the time. We have a lot of really quality moments in our living room over here, but this living room really really does date itself. Living rooms don't really look like this, but it is very nice to see that he has a fireplace in this corner. Because the one thing I want to notice from this one to his newer one is that his newer one, he was all about the fireplaces. I got a fireplace here. I got a fireplace there. I got a fireplace in my bathroom. I got a fireplace in my swimming pool for some reason, somehow. I don't know how he did it. But Travis Barker is all about the fireplaces and Cadillacs. I can't wait till we get into his Cadillac collection because he still gets into his Cadillac collection in the new one too. Very boring guy. Not a lot going on in that head of his. It's all oatmeal north of the eyebrows. <laughs> You're kind of a lower class kind of guy. This is the one time you get to get nice furniture. I hate to break it to you, Travis Barker, but uh, since this video, you just keep getting richer. You just keep getting more money and keep doing weirder, more cringe stuff with it. Yes, even more cringe than what we're seeing here. Because we take a trip back to this era and I'm like, hey, you're actually kind of a normal guy who's just happened to have all this money for a house now. You don't seem to know what to do with it. Because you're not a rich guy north of the eyebrows, what you're doing is you're like, okay, I guess I'm getting nice furniture. I guess I gotta have three living rooms. You're doing everything for the first time, which circles me back to the baby's first mansion point that I made earlier, which isn't really a criticism, but it does harbor a lot of cringe. And you, sir, Travis Barker, are the conductor. I'm a big Marilyn Monroe fan. That's a piece that I got. One of the best pictures, I think. I have more artwork in the hallway, I'll show you. Oh my god, what a simp. That guy just got super creepy. I'm a, I'm a big Marilyn Monroe fan. I got, let, me, let me show you some. Ah, let me, let me. Andy Warhol is one of my favorite artists in the whole world. Let's see, this is where another place where me and this guy are gonna differ. Andy Warhol is one of my least favorite artists that have ever existed. I don't appreciate 
anything that Andy Warhol has ever done. I might have to do an Andy Warhol exclusive hate video, exclusive gatekeeping video on this channel. I might need to break away from the punk rock just to roast, just to make fun of, and just to absolutely destroy Andy Warhol. This guy sucked so much. Talk about a talentless tryhard. Oh my God. Uh, original painting, there's only 30 of these and he did everything, they're all different. Yeah, that's what he did. It doesn't matter at all. It doesn't make it impressive, okay? A lot of artists only do one of ones. Isn't that a crazy thing? This guy had a screen printer and was just screen printing whatever. I don't, okay. This is not the time or the place to get into my hatred for Andy Warhol, okay? But this video is called, I'm into Cadillacs, and we're halfway through this thing and I've seen nary a Cadillac. Bring in the Cadillacs. He's a freak and you know, he just had a different approach to art, which obviously everyone can expect. Everyone is supposed to have a different approach to art. That's what makes a, a unique artist a unique artist. That doesn't make him more special than any other artist, Travis Barker. What are you saying? You're just saying random stuff. Oh, he's a, he draws. This guy has his sketches. This guy only sketched this sketch 30 times. Fuck off. DVD player. Oh my god. Holy moly. That is dating this video so much. People haven't had CDs and DVDs in like 20 odd years. I'm here and watch like videos and DVDs. That's like five more fireplaces over here, but four of them are blurred out for some reason. He's late at night, fireplace. I'm sure we'll have plenty of nice, like winter, summer nights, that'll be cool. So many fireplaces, so many living rooms. <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous. He says that he doesn't do any living in those living rooms, spends all of his time in his bedroom, watching the rooms from his security camera footage. Oh, I gotta get the CCTV so I could watch my grotto, so I could look at my fireplaces and my black and white TV up here. What the hell's going on in this man's <laughs> That sucked, man. That was so boring. This video is called I'm into Cadillacs. I wanted to see more Cadillac stuff. I wanted to see more specifics about the cars. I wanted him to get in and be like, hey, look at the interior here. Not just, hey, I have, a, I have blacked out windows because I do a lot of freaky deaky things and I know a lot of really bad people that I drive around with and I don't want anybody to know what I'm doing. So I blacked out all my windows. No, show us. This is Cribs. Bring us into the place and show us what it's all about, Travis Barker. And the guy has changed so much since back then, but the few nuggets of personality that he actually has have stayed consistent. His love for Cadillacs, his love for drumming. That's that's kind of that's kind of about it. Oh, and his love for fireplaces. Man loves a fireplace, but I'm glad he doesn't like tilt his hats to the side anymore. Tuck his ears underneath. It's even hard to do. Why do people do that? Let me let me see if I can get a good ear tuck going. Okay, so I got the ear tuck, the sideways, and then he would like pierce it somehow. I can't really pierce it, but I have this uh, uh, safety pin I can, I don't know, I can do like a fake piercing of it like here. I'm gonna try not to stab my head. All right, there we go, we're pierced. All right, so now I got a little bit of a Travis Barker thing going. Sideways, ear tuck, piercing. Imagine I thought I looked cool right now <laughs> and wanted to walk around my house and show you guys all my fireplaces. You wouldn't have that. Okay, anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna go now. Thank you so much for watching, bye.